A man was waiting at an airport for a long distance flight. His flight was delayed and so he had a little spare time. He saw a deal on some cookies and thought he should treat himself. He bought quite a few cookies because he thought it might be quite a long delay. He took a seat near a man and started to read the magazine he also picked up earlier. He exchanged a glance with the other man and then tried to avoid eye contact as he went back to reading. While he was engrossed in his magazine, he happened to see that the man sitting beside him boldly grabbed a cookie from the container. He initially ignored the incident to avoid a scene. He grabbed a cookie himself and went back to his magazine. But the man seemed to have enjoyed the cookie so much, he took another one and started eating it too. This continued for a while and with each passing moment, he began to get more and more irritated. Every time he took a cookie, so did the other man. When the last cookie was left, the man nervously took that cookie and broke it in half. He offered the other to the man and smiled. The man took the cookie and could not believe the other man's nerve. He was thinking in his head, how ungrateful could that man be? The other man then left and took the container with him. This guy couldn't believe what had just happened. He was relieved when his flight was called. He gathered his belongings. As he lifted his bag, he saw that there was a full container of cookies right there. He was totally shocked, totally surprised. It caught him off guard. He thought to himself, if my cookies are here, then wait, those cookies were his. The other man had shared his cookies whilst he was thinking he was the one doing the sharing. Whilst he was angry and irritated, the other man was being generous and kind. He felt so bad for what had happened, but he couldn't find the other man anywhere and didn't know how to apologize. Things are not always as they appear. Sometimes we make quick assumptions about people, circumstances and situations. We judge them, label them and put them into a box, not recognizing that there is a much bigger picture. Sometimes we meet someone in a particular state, stage or phase of their life and stereotype them to be a certain way. Don't be so quick to judge. You never know when you might find yourself walking in someone else's shoes. And remember, the best apology is changed behavior.